with Chattanooga Whiskey's Barreled Finishing Series. Started with the port. Last year had the Scotch cask. This year's Cabernet Savion finish. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another whiskey review. We've got a brand new whiskey that's hitting the shelves from Chattanooga Whiskey. It's their Silver Oak Cabernet cask. I love these barrel finishing series that they're doing. The port cask that they come out with first. Absolutely loved it. That bottle you've seen in the beginning is actually my bunkered bottle. I polished off a couple others a couple years ago on throughout. Got that one put up. The Scotch cast that come out last year, not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'm not a Scotch fan. I will say if you're trying to dive off into Scotches, it's probably, if you see it out, it's probably worth a, it's worth a purchase, it's worth a pour. If a buddy's got a sample or whatever, you can see it at a bar, it's pretty good. Their barrel finishing series, they do a great job and it takes on the, the whole perspective of what they're finishing in. I think if you're doing a finished whiskey, that's what you're after. We're gonna go in and pour this in the glass. Let it be breathing as I talk about it just a little bit. Pretty much just like any other Chattanooga whiskey. They got the, the stuff on the back. It breaks it down. I'll put a, a link in the description box below where you can check out the full mash bill on all kind of stuff, this included. It's got five different single malt mash bills included in this. The 53 gallon of course cooperage toasted and charred oak greater than four years and that's including an 18 month silver oak cabernet finish from the silver oak farms like i said i can't wait all of them come in at 85 i mean 95 proof not 85 straight malt whiskey finished in cabernet savion barrels beautiful beautiful bottle i love their little corks. I love the bottle style. I'm actually at the end of this going to compare it to a highly allocated single malt whiskey that came out last year. If you guys know what I'm talking about, stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll see how this compares. I think you'll see this a lot more readily available than you will the other one. To give it a little swirl. I love the color. Chattanooga has a, a killer mash bill, a killer aging process. I love it. Like I said, this is greater than four years. The cast strength at 111 proof, I love it too. Got a couple single barrels that's very, very good. This has got a lot of toasted, roasted malts in it, caramel malts. They do a whole lot of exclusive experimental series. It's only distillery exclusive. And I'd love to do a, go down there and do a visit, do maybe a tour down there. We like to go hiking down in Chattanooga all the time and camping, so I see that in the near future. Maybe when it warms up. But enough talky talk. Let's get this on the nose. Ooh. That is straight candy. It's almost like a, like a little strawberry and cream Werther's. I mean life savers that they used to make the cream savers i think they were called hmm. jumping out of the glass a lot of grapes tiny bit of oak coming out hmm. chocolate malty goodness my goodness like i say we don't just smell it we taste it so let's get it on the palate y'all cheers That called for an immediate second sip. You're definitely getting that Cabernet finish on it. Mm. A lot of great chocolate notes coming through from that malt. You're getting them. Uh, there's some kind of note that I'm, I'm not quite picking up. You're getting the oak too. Man, there's something there on the back end of the palate that's just. You 
get a lot of those candy notes too. But there's a, and not in an off-putting way, but there's a, a real sweet earthiness on the back end. Probably coming from the malts. Man, but that Cabernet finish really, really shines. Mm. You get some, just a twinge of vanillas, some butterscotch, a little bit of toffee. A very, very long finish for a 95 proofer. I'd say if I was going to give this a ranking on a 10 point ranking scale. For a finished whiskey, nailing what it's supposed to do, it's an 8.1. It's got a tremendous finish on it. As it sits there and opens up in the glass, as I talk, you're getting a little bit of peppery spice on the back end. Almost like a, not a black pepper, but like a white pepper. If you've ever had the white pepper spice, the, it's got a different texture, different feel, different flavor to it is what I'm trying to say man another good one from the barrel finishing series of Chattanooga whiskey but let's see what it compares to against this highly allocated product they released last year that's right you guessed it Jack Daniels twice barreled single malt aged in an old Russell sherry cast so there'll be a different cast finish what I'm gonna do is pour a little bit more of the Chattanooga whiskey in the glass here Let it sit there and breathe. Love that bottle. And then we'll pour a little bit of this Jack Daniels. How will the Chattanooga compare these two Tennessee malt whiskeys? I think uh, Jason C. at Mash and Drum said it best. There's going to be a lot more of these single malts hitting the shelves from different distilleries. I think new riffs coming out with one, but I'm excited. This was probably the first one, this Jack Daniels that I've ever tried that I can remember. Like I said, I get a lot of samples through work from salesmen, this and that. But right off the rip, you can tell the color difference. Jack Daniels is a little darker, probably a little older. Goes without saying, but get this Jack Daniels on the nose man side by side these two noses Chattanooga whiskey Cabernet cask definitely a lot sweeter to me right now Getting a lot of tannic notes. It still smells really good, but it's getting a lot more tannic notes, even on the nose. But let's put it on the palate and we'll see how these two compare. I haven't had this in a while. Of course, this one, mine comes in at 106.3 proof. Did a full review on this. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Mm. Those tannic notes are there, but not as bad on the palate as there was on the nose. I'm getting a little, a little bit of leather notes that I don't remember getting when I reviewed that which I really enjoy unless it's like some weird off-putting leather note but a lot of times in a good well-aged bourbon you'll get some leather notes but let's try this up against the Cabernet here first initial what I get is just a lot creamier on the palate but it does have, it's got a little bit more grainier of a note to it. And I think that's what I'm getting on the back end. Some of those malts, a little bit younger age to it. 
Probably something to do with the Cabernet finish on it. It really holds its own. They're two different finished whiskeys, two different finished malts. This is it's not really a single malt, it's a blend of five different single malt mash bills. I guess you could really call it a single malt. I'm not real sure. This is labeled a single malt. A little bit older, really stands through on the palate, really. Really comes down to finish on the two. This has a long finish, but it has a more of a grassier note to it. That really throws my palate off. It's pretty good though for what what you're getting. Why I give it an 8.1, because you're getting a lot of the Cabernet finish. I can pick up the Cabernet. Cabernet, Pinot Noir is actually one of my, I'm not a big wine drinker, but I do like a Pinot Noir and a good cab. Hits the spot too. Side by side, I gotta go with the Jack Daniels, but this, this Chattanooga whiskey, I think, I think 60 bucks 55 60 bucks you see it on the shelf pick it up it's definitely worth the experience and out of the finished series the port cast is definitely my favorite it hits all those notes it's super sweet it don't have no long off-putting finish to it it's a very good pour but you probably won't see those on the shelf no more but I'd say if you like a good Cabernet finish or a good wine finished whiskey you like single malts check this out if you see it on the shelf guys i'm gonna blend these two together like we always do and then we're gonna ride it out we'll get old jack out of here because this review is actually about the cabernet cast of chattanooga whiskey but guys i love y'all like always stay safe out there and until next time stay saucy but don't get too saucy drink responsibly share with friends thanks for watching love y'all